<clears throat> oh, hey everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your captain Leon today. Yeah, uh, tonight. Uh, today is for the afternoon stream. Uh, along with Cosmetric here at your service. <laughs> yeah, who may or may not have just come back from Camp Crystal Lake. <laughs> but it's not easy to be a camp counselor. <laughs> Anyways. Uh... I'd say welcome to Minecraft, but it's still loading in. Uh, yeah, all the mod seven on a new map, and okay, yep. slow down. It's over. It's and yeah, I changed things up a bit. I removed some mods. I some mods, I think, and I added in a few other ones that shouldn't cause any trouble. And uh, yeah, I've already had a bit of a a head start just to. Should, just so we don't have to go running around for three whole streams trying to find some place to get started. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, some of the big changes that we'll, we'll be doing is that, first of all, we are going to be starting our colony above ground instead of underground this time. To be more specific, we're thinking about putting it around here, or at least the... <clears throat> the... Uh, Town Hall will go here. Then we'll expand outwards and just build onto the waters as needed. And also we're doing... Well, we're starting off with our personal quarters in this tower that we'll be building upwards. And the last thing is that we are moving away from our reliance on Project E. That We were, we were using that way too much. We will still make a transmutation tablet, but it will mostly be for building in the colony. Not for, well, just pulling out the materials for whatever we're barreling. <clears throat> a bit better self-control. And I can yeah, see us doing some underground works, but... If it's not on surface, then, then, yeah. or if you do need to do anything on the ground, you have to be... Maybe have it a bit more uh, organized. Yeah. Um... Uh... First off, one thing to say is that I've already explored quite a bit here, but if the map bits look a bit iffy, that's because I have the cheats turned on at the moment. So I could teleport anywhere I'd want to, but I've uh, used that only for exploration and getting around and, well, marking some areas. So yeah, this is apparently an Illager camp over here. And there's some other places as well. I have collected a bunch of loot during that time amongst which yeah <laughs> an invisibility a scarf invis of invisibility which I will put away and uh, most of that stuff is collected in these backpacks here though some of it has ended up in these chests due to just the amount I was carrying around mostly well just by making a new backpack whenever I ran out of the space <clears throat> Okay, I'm yeah. gonna confess. I thought your face was bugged this all this time. <laughs> no. On your micro character. It does give it turns the wearer invisible, but it doesn't make me completely uh it doesn't mean that the mobs won't find us still. And let's put it in there. Uh, because they have a turn to attack me first a few times, so definitely that is <laughs> not it doesn't work fully as one would hope. Oh, and, uh, I'll give a bit of a tour of what I've made so far here. I've made a couple of water wheels here to power all of this. It's probably it is far from the most efficient way of having all of this, I'm pretty sure, but it works for the moment. We have a mechanical press for turning ingots into plates. Um, I was going to make something to put that have it be moved over here. I forgot or tried to get it moved into a chest in some way. Uh, over here we have a mechanical mixer, which is the reason why these are here in the first place, because this requires to be... This is... It is... Yeah, for it to work, it is required to spin at a certain speed. 32 rounds per minute, I believe. And... Yeah. That's why these are here. It's also why some of the extra wheels on there are on there. Because the faster something like this is spinning, the same with the mechanical press, the more stress units are required to keep it spinning that way. 
And right. finally, over here, we have the mechanical drill, which is currently just working at a cobblestone generator and doing quite a bit of work on that already. And lastly, of the quote-unquote construction on this side, we have basically a lava drip. Um, this was filling up this cauldron pretty quickly before, but it seems to have stopped. I have no idea why exactly. I may have heard something about that. Yeah, that's one point or another you need to swap out dripstone or something, or maybe it just stops working in general. I think I picked up some dripstone along the way. Well, I, I know I picked it up somewhere along the way because I have that bit. Uh, so let's just take a quick look what happens if we swap it out for a different one. That's a drip lily or whatever it's called. Yeah, pointed dripstone. Hmm. Did it, did it get worn out or something? See, it's pointed drop. Okay. Hmm. We'll see if that has it's done not anything or not. For now, that's just going in there. And uh, yeah, as you can see on the hand, there's also some other stuff that I found. Like uh, ta -ta -ta, villager hats, which increases. Trading prices with villagers. A backpack I made myself. Feral claws increases attack speed. Power glove, which increases damage. And that's about it. Also, I, I found a waystone somewhere in the wilderness. <laughs> so I just picked it up and put it down here. So there isn't a village that's missing theirs for the moment. Right, that... Of all the reasons, you feel like a pirate with that law on your hand. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I managed to get a cat. Uh, I had three, as Rukia can attest, but off stream and off screen share, some uh, one of the blasted wild and got over the walls and killed two of the cats before I got back uh, up from the mines that I've dug. And yeah, I also, can prefer you have more cats. Yeah, I've got a few prisoners down here for when we get started on a farm. I think I have a leash somewhere in among these. I'm pulling these out because, well, we need wood and such. What? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, over here, some lava over in a pit. And just a spiraling staircase that goes around it that I've dug out. And, yeah, this here is a bit of an experiment. Experiments. Uh, basically, what? Oh, it stopped. Could it be? Uh, I need to get a bit height. I'll use the dirt instead of the cobblestone. Oh wait, I forgot to turn off the computer speakers or the surround sound speakers. So I got double audio there for a moment. Sorry if that caused any echo onto the microphone. It should sort that Ooh. stuff out. Uh, you did sound a bit odd uh, on rare occasion, but now I guess I know why you did it, how that happened. But I was ready to inform you if you were, were having microphone issues. Okay, seems it might have just been stuck. Be nope, it's stuck on something. Uh, basically, what is going on here is that I made a rope pulley contraption to work as an excavator. Uh, just a simple thing, a two by two of drills with a chassis above it to keep them uh, to keep them moving, along with a chest to carry anything it digs up. And uh, yeah, a toggle switch or a toggle latch to be exact, powered one, to turn on turn this gear shift to make the well, to reverse the rotation so that instead of going down, it'll come up and such. And uh, yeah, it seems to have either. I very much doubt that it hit the maximum depth. I believe there is a limit to the how long these things can go. Okay. That? I heard a but, door. Was, was it on a, on a damn fly? Or. I guess something could have set off the. Pressure plate. Okay. Hmm. We had it happen. We had it happen just before. 
that the it got stuck on something on that side of the hole and that was uh, that's a dead fly at the very least uh i forget exactly what it was what it, that it got stuck on but it was something from thermal foundation or i believe but yeah it didn't seem like it could dig through that hmm but yeah, at the very least, it's a very good way to, di uh, to dig out some areas. I could make a lot bigger ones. But for the moment, this works to test on, well, limitations and such. And yeah, slowly but surely it's getting back up. I could speed it up by putting in some... Uh, ooh, pardon? By putting in some cog wheels to turn up the speed. But that would probably require another water wheel to be placed behind it. So, yeah. Whilst that is finding its way back up, uh, we have the village over here. This this is quite a bit of a big, different village than people would probably assume. That That's because one of the mods I added in was the Better Villages mod. And better it is. Yeah. And let's see. I have, I have a file here. I'll open it up in this so I can actually keep an eye on. Let's see. I wrote down what mods I added in here. So let's see. I added in the Tetra mod, which is a com yeah, not really a combat uh, mod, but it allows for more customization of normal weapons. The advanced Ooh. chimneys mods, which isn't too ba big, but it leads to, well, those <laughs> chimneys and such. Uh, HT's tree chop, which basically it does the work of a uh, a logging axe similar or it works similarly to that on a tree just normally with any axe or such uh, then we have amplified nether which well just it makes the nether a lot more interesting or so i've heard the friends and foes mod which adds uh, all of the or has tried to add all of the previously uh <clears throat> rejected uh, community vote mobs to the game uh, I've run across a few. There's actually two down there. Yeah, copper golems to be exact. Uh, better villages are already mentioned. Then there's another a simple one that is just a quality of life. Uh, diagonal fences. So if I were to place a fence here and here, they would still connect. And lastly, there's integrated dungeons and structures, which adds a lot more random structures all over the place. Okay. It got a decent haul out. First, let's put away some stuff that we can use later. Bloody oh, heck, that, that, that straw hat with your helmet. I know the day before you showed me, we talked about Don Coyote. Only for me to see this, that you have become Don Coyote. <laughs> okay, Wait, let's put most of it, that away. Is that why you want to attack the windmills later? No, I want to attack it because I want to turn it into an active, you know, actively working uh, windmill. <laughs> so you don't want to attack with a lance? Nope. Um, have, I think that's how he died. A good chance of that. Now there is one thing I could do to improve this thing somewhat. Oh, well, there's many ways I could. But at the, I just had a thought with it. Um, let's see. We I should have some slime around here somewhere. I think it's in one of these. Yep, there we go. And then we just make a quick slime block out of that. Then we glue up this side here, which still has some room. And... Technically, we could jump after this thing now to catch up with it. Though that would be pretty risky if, it, since it's basically a 1 in 4 chance to get squished. <laughs> uh, yeah. Does it actually move along? Always good to test. Yeah. And one more thing that we could do is to put in a redstone link here and add a controller so that we could ride it along down. And then when we want to get back up, we just use the controller, turn the switch, and uh, 
yeah, be brought back up again, like a, an open elevator. Yeah, it feels like you need to make it bigger to make that design work better for it. Let's face it, that, that that's a, might be a little bit too compact. It is, it is just an, you know, a bit of a prototype at the moment. And uh, yeah, in general, I plan to be relying a lot more on Create for, well, most everything from farming and such. And we'll also be building an iron and gold farm eventually, which, well, you, you can get quite a lot of stuff by running uh, materials through crushing wheels. And let's see. How do we make red, redstone links should be simple enough. Yeah, two brass plates and then redstone torch. I should have some brass cooked here already. Wait, I, I thought I put that in there already. Did I put it away? Uh, oh, there it is. Okay. We just need two plates. Uh, let's actually controller. Hmm. That creates, and then red stone. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, linked controller. That's what we need. Okay, that requires a link and some buttons. Okay, that's all. Uh, oh, almost what? Apparently, you can bookmark things in that thing. Uh, yeah, you connect it to something. Put those there. Let it work. Uh, yeah, I still don't know create too well, but we are going to try and figure things out a lot more with it. Oh yeah. Uh, and what was it again? Planks and redstone. I think, yep, I have some pre made. And planks should be somewhere here where we just make some more with the logs. And so we'll have plenty to go with. And then, yep, there, there, and there. Then we just need the buttons. I think we need six. There, there, and then there. Okay. Then we put this one down over here. All right. Now we can set it. If, now we can set a frequency for it. Let's just put it as two shaft. And then we need the wrench to turn it from a sender into a receiver. There's the wrench. Okay. I should probably just put this in the backpack. Does it, yeah. That signifies that it's a receiver now. And then let me double check. Let's see. Ta -ta -ta. Toggles the controller. Movement taken over while it's active. Okay. Right click on sneaking. No. There. Right click on a redstone receiver. Uh, enables bind mode. Press one of the six controls to bind it to the link's frequency. Okay. And then you can put it down. Okay. And now we have it selected to this. Now we just make turn it yeah, activated by pressing the right mouse button. And then when we press space, it starts moving. So let's just write it down and see what the hell is making it stop downstairs. Yeah, then we probably should... Yeah, probably invest in a little part time and make a Mark uh, yeah, for This is a... One? Uh, for one, I'd, I, <laughs> we're going to make this thing a lot speedier, I'd say. Because this yeah. is going to take a while to get down. Yeah. Uh, this is currently Mark 2. Uh, not well. Technically, it's with with this one attached. <clears throat> is... Yeah, but we we did move it aside. Yeah, true, but that doesn't make it a mark two. <laughs> uh, point taken. Okay, that is where it stopped before. 
Uh, technically, the, the the moving was done just simply by removing the rope pulley and then just using a, a mechanical piston to move it into a new position. Because, well, it, we just moved it through squares. Because <laughs> I didn't feel like building it up again. <laughs> okay. Seems that they dug into a cave b down here before. In the previous bit, we used water to just go down. Uh, yeah, I, this is <clears throat> this is part of the mine or the caves that we dug into because Welcome over the there basement. is the lava. <laughs> okay. Oh, I just remember something. Hmm? Uh, there's there's a fan comic about Jason Voorhees now apparently. Okay. He, Michael Myers, a few hours are camp counselors. <laughs> yes, he did dress up as one, included a mask, shorts and all. I think I actually might have seen a bit of that. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I've been tempted to watch some of them on YouTube, says there'll be some dubs, but I was fearing that they. The time I used to see them, I just feel like. Maybe not now, if they're screaming. I don't want to disturb the neighbors. And hello there, Sentai Tadpole. <laughs> ah, hello there, little Tadpole. Okay. Uh, not hat? What? What do you mean, not hat? Yeah. It's just a villager head showing up underneath the, hel the iron helmet. And... Okay. No hat. Freaking fly is still in my room, whatever. You should ex execute it. <laughs> okay, I've been over there as well. Dug up some uranium in that area, but what stopped this thing from going any further? Or did it actually reach the bottom? Oh, well, we're going to find our answer now. Okay, what is stopping you from... Oh no, wait... Oh, it wasn't that it stopped, it was just having difficulty digging further, because Deep Slate, it's tougher to dig through. <laughs> uh, at least we now know it's still working, just... Yeah, it's probably good to make it bigger. Yeah, well, for now, we know that it works, so let's get off this crazy train. And send it off down further. Yeah, we, we, we really need to up its speeds, but we'll need to put down another <clears throat> another water wheel for that, because one water wheel can power four drills. So if we speed it up, it's going to take more power to well keep them running. So in the meantime, uh, oh, okay. let's see this way. So if a set, Sentai Tadpool says, Captain Hiller has no hat yet. He is a captain. That's true! I, I was tempted to, to bring that up to him earlier today! Or rather, uh, well, a few I, minutes ago. I could see about doing something about that, though it would be going into something with... with v -Roid and such that I haven't actually tried yet. Because uh, for some stupid... Oh, for some stupid reason, the v -Roid stuff uh, doesn't really... doesn't really allow for hats to be used. But it should be possible to put on a hat on the model itself uh, <clears throat> in a blender and you then just export that back out so that uh, VC face can use it. Okay. And I, I've Could worked a little out. bit with blender before, but nothing to that uh, degree though. Oh. And again, it stopped. Uh, yeah, there we go. It it is just resetting. Digging through the ground. Hmm. Yeah, it just, just takes a while. Okay. Um. Then where to start, really? Well, first off, let's reset it back today. Yeah. Oh, I probably should say this. We are finally making his tower. Yeah. <laughs> making it. <coughs> oh. Oh. Uh, you heard that too. 
What do you see? Uh, zombies burning. Yeah, this this little this little red around everything is to keep spiders from climbing in. Though it also gives mob shel mobs shelter from the sun. Okay, where is that Enderman? We need and we need Ender pearls. Oop. One for making stuff and also for finding a stronghold, so we can actually go into the end. There we go. Uh, all right. Uh, see you soon, uh, tadpole. Hope that the food will taste well. Enjoy. Yeah. Oh. It was. I thought it would have died already, but it was still just chasing after us. Okay. Couple of little bastards. Uh, Where yeah. the heck did he go? I must have jumped somewhere else. But for now, yeah. Uh, these are a bit bigger than I actually thought they would end up. Wait, did you grow them? Yep. These oh, were yeah, the orchard that... saplings that I put down. Ooh. Hmm. Definitely getting what, that... definitely getting more than enough wood out of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's kind of good. But then there's also the wood trick that if you put four sprouts close to each other, they become a giant sprout. There. Uh, let's see. Yeah, future plans. Like I said, we will be starting the colony. Uh, find us again on this area. There we go. We'll start be starting the colony in this area. Um, we were we were going to put down the first down here, or at least the town hall. But I'm thinking maybe we could. Hmm. We don't want it to put. We don't want it too close to this yet because we still have to evict the inhabitants. Yeah. Hmm. So if we were to put it there, as you said first, if we could at, at least merge it with the other town on, on the other side of the water. Uh, there. It. It is not. It's not much of a town. It's more like a tent complex. Just a bunch of tents all over the place. Okay. I can go show that. And yeah, this floating block is just here to prevent me from stupidly running into the lava. Yeah, the, 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 the lava thing, you're going all the way down. It's basically this version of a giant lava lamp. Yep. Literally. Without the glass to protect you, though. Okay. Yeah. But we we really need to talk about you and um, safety protocols. <laughs> OSHA would hate me. Who? Uh, OSHA. I believe that's the uh, American safety something. A, a spare bed. Okay. So uh, yeah, I forget what the. Oops, I can hear a cat. I forget what it actually. Shortens to, but it's it's basically the your the company that keeps an eye on, uh, yeah, companies that they aren't just endangering their employees and such. Ah, did not know these that. Are, these are two rusted up go copper golems. I don't know how to actually well get them moving again. Probably by removing the rust, but what I don't know how that? to do that. It's a statue from the Paraglider mod. Ooh. I was thinking of removing that, but I changed my mind. Let's see. Some air canisters, compressed iron, pressure tubes. I have no idea how to use any of this uh, stuff, but yeah, I'm, I'm taking it all the same <laughs> just so that I have it when we do give that a try. And let's see. It's a bit of scaffolding. Okay, makes for a good, makes for a good table like that. And we have yeah. a food storage. Olaf, did, I didn't put that there. Okay. Owl, did it? Okay, did the better villages mod also give them random names? I hope so. I hope so. Those those are beehives. Okay. 
And then just some chests with seeds. Okay. Indoor garden? It looks like it, yeah. And this is supposed to be a sprinkler system, even though that's an end rod which doesn't actually do anything. Okay. Hmm. I thought I saw something there for a moment, but no, I guess not. So, yeah, let's just go back down. Uh, some of the early goals but that we'll be going for, we'll be setting up some creates farms for, well, tree, f uh, for wood, for food. Uh, we'll have to get one for kelp as well, because we'll be needing that for uh, conveyor belts and such. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna be something. And yeah, just a, a barrel with a tripwire hook makes it look like it's a beer bottle, a beer, bleh, a beer barrel. Yeah, wait. I think you just broke something. Uh, no, it, there wasn't anything connecting, but I did. Oh. I, I broke the block of redstone for, well, the redstone that it has. But I didn't mean to break the other bits, but we'll take it all the same. And yeah, then terrain generation gets in the way. Oh, the so uh, let's move over here. It, it, is today they're going to get annoyed once again of the wizard pirate alien or whatever one we call you besides just pirates. Uh, yeah. Was he actually using something? Because I heard a, a, a drill noise. All the same, let's take all of his stuff. Hmm. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to look at lighting everything up here to keep it safe. Uh, we, we had some zombie villagers before. Uh, I guess he's following us now. But we don't have the means to cure them yet so oop. that one's new they just Ooh. a bunch of food well that, that, that is good yep some more emeralds i i found a i found an absolute frick ton of uh emeralds uh whilst i was exploring around enough to fill at least one stack okay you hear me out what if you don't need a food farm uh, we have enough food at the moment. Uh, that's but... right. Imagine if you keep finding a lot of food. So it basically makes the food farm pointless. Uh, we'll also be going for the Drigmies, so they will be getting uh, meat off of the uh, farm animals that we'll keep. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, dear. Uh, hmm. Wait, you just remember, you, you, you can tell the squirrels to tr uh, move things, correct? Uh, about, yeah. Basically take something specific from somewhere and put it somewhere else. What do you have in mind? Hear me out. What if you could tell them to take some food and bring them to the restaurant? Hmm. Uh, it could probably be done, probably, but we'll need to know how far they will actually go for those tasks. Oh yeah, that does that. Like, it could work, but it could also mean we, we need to build it extremely close. Yeah. And then, did you get it to work with them doing that, or did you even try it? Yeah, I hadn't actually thought of that yet. Yeah, for I don't remember if you need to do a path for them, like a dirt road, or or you just need to tell them what to do. I'll take that but, since iron tools are always useful. Uh, let's see another house. Mm. Pardon me. <clears throat> I don't know what... I, I think my body is trying to get back into a decent uh, sleep schedule again. Which, uh, so it's making me tired extra early. 
And some more copper golems. I guess this is how you're yeah. supposed to make them, I'm guessing. Maybe. Let's give that a but, try. Yeah. I've also been feeling a bit weird. For, are we trying to get ready for when we turn back the clock? Yeah. The blue moon rises, you feel lucky. Okay, I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. Probably better drop chances on stuff. Oh, wait, I don't know when we had this before. <laughs> when it said in the corner that the. the or no, as I heard it from someone else, that the blue moon means better harvest. Yeah, but there's already a harvest moon. Yeah, I, th I think the blue moon was the harvest moon. Or. Okay, maybe mm. I'm mixing it up. Yeah, if it was the harvest moon, it would have specifically said that. Okay, then I. Maybe I mixed it up then. Okay. But it is uh, probably something good. It is better than Red Blood Moon. Definitely. And there's still plenty of space over here that needs to be lit up. But uh, I don't have any torches with me. <laughs> Turn that back oh, off. Dear. Have we been here? We've been. Actually, I'm not sure. Hmm. Actually, now I am sure we have we that yeah, we saw down this way before. Okay, let's see if we can find an occupied bed. Uh, I <laughs> asking you so find. <clears throat> now then, I, what the villagers think of you at the moment? Well, I am moving in, so. They're probably just wondering if I'm going to be an asshole or not. And so far, me just taking stuff, they, they're they probably thinking I'm the asshole. Yeah. Ooh, hello. More food. <laughs> food. Oh, this bread tastes so good. Oops, oops, something <laughs> broke here. I think someone forgot to turn off the tub. <laughs> what the heck? Here we go. More food and emeralds. Yeah, you can actually put water in the same block as a stairs. So you can have that happen. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're go we're going to try more fo of a focus on create, but also other mods. Before we focus most a lot on certain things, I'm going to try and mix things together some. So we'll be trying our hand on I'm going to keep some distance to keep the sound of that down. We're going to try our hand at Botania, uh, Tinkers, uh, Hexery, and all. A bunch of the magic mods and such. And... Yeah, as it, I'm still curious if we can combine some of them with the create. Like it's, some of them, I think it's rather easy. Like uh, auto harvester that harvests that magic uh, plant. That feels like a little bit of a new brainer. Yep. But others, unsure. Like. For some reason, I'm being curious if we could do a train and add the magic cannon turrets onto it. <laughs> that would be curious at the very least, yeah. Yeah, but if that would work, you literally had to make a magical tank. <laughs> uh, tank trains used to be a thing. Sort of our armored trains, at least they were still called, I believe. Yeah, do I think the rules? Oh wait, yeah, the one move for the guns were a bit too heavy to move regularly. Even more foods. Okay, yeah, we, we're we've got quite the ocean here that we could sail out over. There is one more mod that I'm going to add that I forgot to add before. Which I believe it was called the Simple Boats mod or something like that, and well. The name says it. It's supposed to add boats. 
Yeah, you're a pirate. You need a boat. Maybe we did talk about adding a skyship next to the tower, but again, we probably need the tower build first before that. Or at least partially built. Yeah. Hmm. And we probably want to get the tower done, somewhat done first, before we start with the colony. Okay, so this is where they're all at. Just uh, communal public baths. Oh, they all got stuck in there trying to help one. But then the first one to try to help got stuck. Then, yeah, yeah you, you hear the chain reaction. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll be trying to keep somewhat of a handle on this village to... Don't get, uh, don't let the villagers just get themselves all killed. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Dude, I could see us make our colony so big that he en enveloped this one as well. It would be a bit it's... of an interesting mix since we can, uh, we can get villagers to farm stuff now as well because uh, mob griefing is turned off, or turned on in this world, which well also yeah. means that, oop, which also means that. Uh, uh, creepers and such will blow holes in the area. Oh, there's the cat. Uh, but yeah, it also means that the villagers can actually do work. Um, you didn't notice a fairy? Yeah, I noticed it. it. We just don't have any bone meal on us at the moment. Oh. Or any plants. Uh, yeah, I should start carrying those around. Well, first, I'll have to call for a quick BRB. Because Ooh. nature is once again using the megaphone. All so, right. Yeah, be right back. Yeah, don't trip.
Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. And let's continue the timer. I come back. Uh, <clears throat> uh, this anyway. the stream. Let's see. So yeah, we'll try not to let that place get overrun by the undead. Hard emphasis on try, probably. Though since we yeah. are a bit of a distance away, I don't think too many mobs should spawn around it. So let's actually turn all of those off for the moment. Okay. Uh, yeah, for those not in the know, that is... I forget specifically what it's called, but yeah, it's... It is a windmill and it is filled... All of these fields outside are wheat fields, only they're being tended to by pretty strong undead uh, villagers. Or undead farmer villagers, to be exact. So, yeah. Wait. Hmm? Right, let, let me get to that. It is a pillager out. It's a pillager forming outpost and they used enslaved undead villagers. I believe there should be pillagers, but I'm not entirely too sure because I've never been able to get too far inside. Hmm. Anyways, for now, we're going to be starting. Uh, are, is this still moving or did it stop? Hmm. Okay, I think it's reached as far as it can go. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that is significantly deeper and hit lava. That might be a bit of an issue, depending on if this stuff can burn once the rope pulley has stopped. Because if it has... If, because if it did catch fire to everything, then, uh, yeah, I think did we have lost whatever was attached to it. And I think I can see it coming up with only, well, with nothing attached to it. So I think all of our stuff that was dug out has been lost now. Oh, But at least we have a hole all the way down, but still, we, we definitely need to fix that lava leak. Yeah, we could have we could have prevented that. No, actually, it is it is intact because the slime is there, and I can see the brown of the chest. I think. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Yep. That, that was unexpected. <clears throat> yeah, just finishing off a mug of drink that I brought up with. Uh, yeah. We'll need to start. We'll need to get started on just getting some animals trapped up and such, and start breeding those. Get some chickens, some sheep, some pigs, um, horses probably as well, wait, wait, since dragons can work with those. Hmm? Are those sugar canes on the beach? Yeah. Holy, they are tall. Yeah, one of the mods also allows for the sugarcane to be uh, to grow pretty high uh, past the usual limit of three or four. Right. That's what I thought they normally could grow even bigger than that. Nope. Okay, <laughs> so sugarcane reaching bloody 25 is the mod then. Yep. I forget specifically which one though. Um, let's see. For, for our farmers, we'll need some, uh, what was it again? Mechanical bearing. There we go. That is just alloy and a turntable on top. Let's see, rotate, um... turns rotation force into refined motion sickness, <laughs> really? Okay. Hina, do you want to read what you've wrote in your search bar down there? Yeah, mechanical bear. <laughs> Let's see, a slab and a shaft. Then another shaft, two alloy and a casing. Uh, and how long are you going to keep that damn straw hat? There was no reason to put it away until we find something better. 
So you're going to need more alloy in a bit. And casing alloy. There should be some slabs around here from things we made. Or we just make more ourselves, actually. I don't know where we got the... I don't know where these glass blocks came from. Usually you need something with silk touch to get those. Hmm. Maybe you find a chest or something? Uh, maybe, but for now it seems that changing out the dripstone has worked. So let's put that in there. Get it to smelting. Probably empty this out. Uh, yeah, this stone is mostly going to be for the tower walls, of course. Uh, Drakir has convinced me to make the walls about three thick, so we can actually put some detail work in there. Yep, and we did speak about the probably even use uh, deep slate and viridium. Maybe, yeah. Since there won't be too much use of that viridium, we could still run through a crusher, though. But if we find enough, we could use it, definitely use it for decorations. Yeah, like pillars as such. Lovely green stone. Now, sort everything a bit. Okay, do we still have any wood slabs around? They are dark, they're just dark oaks, so I overlooked them for a bit. Okay, there, and uh, where? Didn't we have more shafts? Or did I put them away somewhere? Let's see. Pretty sure we had more. Or has it been used up already? Or uh, we put it here. I keep forgetting about the stupid backpack. There, there. Let's see. Windmill bearing, mechanical bearing, clockwork bearing. This one is pretty neat since... Well, uh, I'll, I'll let it in-game show you. Uh, yeah, they, they basically work as a giant clock. Or a big clock. I don't see why you would want a thicker uh, clock hand like that, but yeah, you can have you can have both the main and the secondary hand. The secondary hand will follow to, will will show the minutes of of the minutes of the hour. So yeah, you could actually make yourself a giant clock. Hey, that's kind of interesting. I'm not yeah, sure if we could, need it, but... Yeah, we, we could stick one through the sides of the tower somewhere. Uh, Are you going to live in a clock tower? I, it's a possibility, yeah. I, I would say, uh, say, give the clock tower to the one the, the colony of the villagers. Hmm. Let's not do that. Why is it... Why is it not taking that? Okay. There we go. Mechanical bearing. Uh, we should probably make a few more, but just for wood, we're going to keep it at this. Then we need... Uh, a new water wheel for that we need a large cog wheel and we need more wooden slabs so wait wait wait, 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 wait what are we building again a tree farm uh, all right but i was wondering why do we need a giant clock <laughs> now we're not going to use it for that or yet and let's see we probably need only a 5x5 five five area at the moment. 
to yeah, not contain it... this and just not use too much area. Yeah, but some things we're gonna keep in here for now. Other things we're gonna move into the basement and the upper floors. So I have some things hidden where we decorate the rest of the island and take control of this damn island. Yeah, light everything up so not no mobs will spawn onto it anymore. Yep, that way we can start having more farms and such outside the tower securely. See, I should definitely get at least one farm going with dark oak saplings. Oh, oh there's a. Okay, whatever that was. Bit glitchy. Uh, let's grab some dirt to fill in the area a bit. Okay. Uh, the wall can act as part of the enclosure. So there. It might, might, mobs might try to start spawning here. Okay. Now we need to have this face down. Set face down. Okay. Come on, I know you can do this. Why is it being stubborn, or do you need to be looking ex straight down? That might be it. There we go. Okay. Uh, then let's just put a block there after we get out. And go find one of our buckets again. Let's see, where are they? There. We just go grab some water. And there we go. Ooh! Okay, that's we've gonna done... nice. Yeah, we've we've done this trick before with the tree farms in the previous world. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I probably just didn't realize you put it the water wheel flat like that. Hmm. Actually we shouldn't have we should move it one away since the, the tree form is supposed to be five by five so having it covered a wall would not work because we would have to build into the wall yeah that would be a problem so build that up And yeah, just dig Is out that a, a horse? No, it's just the cows. Oh. Okay, fill that. There we go. Let me do that again to make sure that it doesn't flow backwards. Okay. We'll have to move the cows a bit. But otherwise, things should be fine. Uh, let's make sure we don't get struck by that. Wait. Let's not get struck by... You're sleeping in the rain! Without the roof! Bet. Better that than then getting struck by lightning. You wearing iron armor. Okay, what is sending messages? Do not disturb. There. Okay. Then we start expanding this a bit. Not letting them escape. And 
there and then we fill it in behind them for a moment i thought one of the <laughs> for a moment i thought one of them escaped but it's the bumblebee oh dear what the... hmm can you ride them i think they might be a bit small for that Wait, but... okay how did those get swapped yep there They got the lower level first, so they can't climb up out. Okay. Come on, get moving. Okay. Now we can tear this down. And there we go. And we should just be able to cover this up. Make it a 5x5. Five five. Uh, put this one... Actually, we do need one opening for it. So there. And then we need some linear chassis. Okay. And we should have some still. Is it made, does it look like your claws are yellow bananas? <laughs> I think you mean green. <laughs> I was thinking green bananas, but said yellow. <sighs> okay, one, How do you have the moment where you think one word, or you say the very wrong one? Oh, logs, not planks, okay. Uh, yeah, that happens often enough. Okay. Uh, do we have... Yes, we have some slime here. Because we can... With these chassis bits, we can just use slime instead of glue. Though that is a bit much to cover all of them. And then we just stick the chassis to it. And what we need now is sawmills. So how do we make those? Or not saws. Yeah, mechanical saws. Okay, three iron plates, an ingot, and casing. We should have enough. We have the casing. That's where is the iron at the moment? There's zinc for brass. Uh, ah, there. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, I think only one is needed. Mm. There is, I believe, there was something with these these farms being unable to grab some things that were in a one block radius. But let's still try and make a one of another. Let's still try and make two of them. Actually, yeah. And wait, why is shut blank? Uh, it, it. I think it's I. I think I set it to clean itself out after a certain amount of time, or at least that uh, uh, messages will fade away over time. There, that's better. Because the, the glue on this will already make it stick to this. But now that these open, these are facing this way, it'll also mean that uh, anything we stick to it will, will actually stick. They'll It'd be rather smart if I did it not over the hole. Yeah. Okay. okay, so it turns that way. This means that the saws are going on that side. Okay. Six perfectly. There, just let that work itself. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we should connect... Actually, if I break this here... No, that wouldn't work. It would 
you know, there needs to be a space between you know, gears that are or gears and shafts of different speeds because otherwise they will just shatter themselves. So if we build this one block further away, uh, but then we need to extend that and move all of that again. It, yeah, yeah, all of these simple gears can get really annoying if you're trying to organize a place. Yeah, do I see it, see it done very well? I think it's a case of you may need to learn a bit about them a bit more. Yeah, or more of an understanding. Okay. That goes there. You, you do have one YouTube to look up to for that at the moment. Uh, yeah. Now we could we could put glue on the back to put a chest there for storage. Uh, actually, we need one. Uh, actually, we could put the chest here and here. Then on this part, we could put an inventory interactor or however it was called again, so that it will empty itself out. Then at top of that, we can put deployers to, well, plant uh, saplings. But first for that, we need to find the brass again. I really start, should start sorting this stuff early. Because I will just lose everything. There it is. Okay. Now we need to turn eight of these into plates. And let's see. What else do we need? Oh, actually, we know what we need. It's because these things are pretty expensive with these electron tubes, for which we need polished rose quartz, which is made from rose quartz. And, well, I don't think we have any quartz. We need hmm. to go to the nether. Yep. Um, for now, though... Glue, yeah, super glue, an iron plate, two slime, and an iron ingot, or not ingot, nuggets. So, yeah, we're just going to push and throw another one of these on here, just as it's done with the plates. Oop, not that many. There we go. Okay, then just break one of these into nuggets. Find more of this freaking slime. And that's emeralds and slimes. Uh, dark oak saplings. We, we, we're going to need at least one tree farm just for these, since the fortress parts just take so much of it. Hmm. Here. I think I've completely overlooked where the slime is. Or did I put it in the backpack? Nope. <clears throat> wow, that was a good imitation. Let's see. You really saw the village at the moment there. Not on not on intention at least. Here we go. <laughs> Super glue works similar as a slime ball with these, but it allows you to just glue it to any surface. So there we go with yeah. that. Just don't get yourself stuck. Technically, only one chest would be needed for this, but oh well. Uh, yeah, let's just chuck that for a moment. Since it'll take a bit for us to get the second bit, the, the interactor ready. And all we need now is just yeah, the saplings. Uh, don't we need to cover the hole? Uh, we need to still be able to touch this thing to get it to start moving and such. That has to be an easy way to control that then. 
know, we could work it from the from below, but then we'd have to raise this thing again. So there we go. Now this should start breaking. Uh, once these saplings grow into trees, the, the bus saw that makes contact with any of them will stop and start breaking it down. Oh dear. And that yeah, anything that gets comes from it will be caught, will be put into the chest. Uh, did you pick up whatever you threw out? Yeah, it's oak slabs. Let's see, what ah, was that good. item I called again? Let's see, where is it? Last time we were, we, we went really overcomplicated with these things. Uh, for now, the most complicated thing that will be with it will be the deployers themselves. Uh, there it is, portable storage interface, which is casing and a chute. And the chute is alloy and uh, iron plates. So, once more. Wait, that's the interface? Uh, it's not really... It's not an, as complex as an interface as you might be thinking at the moment. But basically, what it, well, you, you've seen them in action before. It's just the tubes that connect and then transfer inventory back and forth. Oh, it is them. Dang it. Gee. Um, we need more andesite alloy. So just, yeah, just chuck this in there. Here we go. That should put out eight andesite alloy. Yeah, yep, yeah. andesite alloy. Yeah, it, it well, yeah, puts them out just, one of the Just remember something here. Wait. Another reason this is very important to remember to not make machines too fast is... Well, apparently if you make an iron or gold generator, if you make them too fast, they may actually throw out items all over the room. <laughs> okay. Okay, we just need one of those at the moment. They can be useful for, mo for moving stuff around, though. Underneath or on up top of an I uh, yeah, of an inventory. Let's directly connect them. And yeah, we can also just connect things diagonally like that. And you can actually with also move them. stuff up with them if you use uh, encased fans. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I see those on YouTube. I did not know you have used them yourself. Now, I haven't yet, but I do know of them. And there. Okay, then we do that and put one of the shoots next to them. Add another one because we need two of these to work. And we can leave that on there for the moment. Okay, nothing has grown yet. Um, okay, we just grab them there. Not like that. There we go. Now that should be able to reach if we put one here. Oh, damn, and okay. That needs an exit. So if we put a chute underneath it, to place a chute, the vertical counterpart of the belt. Then underneath that, we put a chest. Two, three, four. There. There we go. And once this starts working... Oh. 
bit of a mistake there. It grabbed on too much. Yeah, we've had that before. Yeah, why did it... I don't know why it grabbed onto the wood there, because it, it wasn't glued. It shouldn't be... have It, it shouldn't have been touching anything that was glued. It, it definitely didn't take off with the stone that was connected to it. Then that might have been too much for it to carry. Right, yeah, but we made the official back. one. We definitely be making a better design. <laughs> At the very least, it didn't let the cows escape. Uh, yeah, going to need to work on fixing that. <laughs> uh, just for now, just remove these bits. Grab. It, it took the shoot with it. There we go. Now anything that gets deposited in here should end up in there. But that will depend entirely on the saplings actually growing. Hmm. It does take a while. I think there's some bones around and oh, it did let them escape. Wait. Where are the cows now? Here's one of them. Um There were four of them. Did some of them fall down here? Did so they get uh, butchered by the saw. <laughs> I think we would have noticed that, at least. There it goes. We can see stuff moving through. Actually, let's make it a little. And there we go, our first harvest. Nice. Yep. Let's not... Could the bumblebee get caught up by that thing if it stays in its range long enough? Hmm. Does it drop something you want, or...? I don't know if they drop anything at all, and... well... Uh... <laughs> well, there goes the first one of that. Hey, don't be next. Okay. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, let's shield that off a bit. I, I don't get why it was moved. Let's... Let's make a bit wider of an enclosure around it. Yeah, actually, yeah, that should be a, a thing you do always. If you do an enclosure around these... death traps... Always have the one wall extra away so it doesn't stand too close. Like that. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Uh, it, it, oh, here's where the cows are. It, it, wait, I thought I saw another one there, but oh well. But you were inside that one. Don't, don't, don't take um, that out of context, please. Yeah. Okay, we'll have to stop it and get it to work. Uh, put the second saw in there for that one to get cut down. That's for the moment, this does work. I just need to... Not put that away. Yeah, you're probably going to need to organize these chests soon, off-screen. <laughs> or just get a hell of, just get a ton of chests. That was more like it. 
a metal chest, a stone chest, so you know where to look. Hmm. That's just a ladder. Who's called? There. Uh, how, how are we on time? Because I'm really starting to get tired out, so maybe we should call it shorter in a bit. Well, we have about half an hour plus ten minutes, so five, depending on how long you were on the bathroom. So we could just say, mm. yeah, just no extended time, we just stop at uh, ten. Yeah. Uh, Let's send this thing back down, just in case it was still digging out stuff down there. Uh, shouldn't you empty it here first? Yep. Thought I had, but no, it, my inventory was just still full. Let's see. Yeah, it's gotten into the deep slate. Uh, once it's moved one bit further, we could start, we could build, actually, we should probably build another, uh, if we push it aside two blocks again, we should have space for a second uh, water wheel, and then add in, <coughs> add in some, uh, actually, what that, uh, one, two, three, and then, yeah, we could put in some gears to make it go speedier. Oop. Yeah, it's completely missing those. Painfully. And <sighs> what me just realized? Why are we having a massive drill inside the tower? Yeah, we'll be digging. A, we'll be adding a basement sooner or later. That's a deep basement. <laughs> no, you know how many. How you know how much stuff I can drag in. Uh, true. You did say you were to build a tower as well, so yeah, we we needed to go deep to get those materials. Uh, where did I put those plates? I know I had three plates left for the second saw, but I don't see where I put them. Screw it, we'll just make more. Okay. These depots have a limited amount of space that they can have stuff in. So yeah, we'll definitely have to put something... Um, that can hold a lot more than just that, at the very least. Hmm. Oh dear. Hey, there we go, second saw. Now we just need to manage to deactivate it for a moment. Yeah, we probably should have built this a bit higher so we have free access. go and let's not bring the tree along for the ride so let's cut it away okay nothing's making st contact with any glued sides okay Wait. I was just saying what? you were making contact with the glue side. Oh, this this side isn't glued. Why was it getting picked up along with it? 
Yeah, you you beat that one too close. I, I noticed yeah, it just it's not too late. You miss, you're missing the point. It's not glued. It shouldn't move. Yeah, and they did that before. And we said we should make it one wall away. Yeah, then we'll have to move the entire thing further away from the wall. Because that will leave an opening here. Luckily, that opening is a very big cliff. That spiders can still climb. Well, then I have to say hello to Mr. Sauce. <laughs> oh, that, that should be something. That you write that keep coming in. Bone of us to still keep finding strings and the spider parts by the sauce. Uh, let's just put that away for the moment, so we actually have space here. Okay. There. Okay, now it's catching those. Okay, will it still catch on the ones nearest to it? There. Yep. Really? Okay. It's not this... It's not the quickest method at the moment, but it is giving us a steady supply, or it is going to be giving us a steady supply. Yep. And it's a good starting one. And uh, some says maybe you probably should start prioritizing lighting up this island. Uh, yeah, we'll be definitely be getting enough sticks from this, and with the, the logs and the lava, we could make easy charcoal. Let's actually get to that. Any other logs around? Um, so let's just leave the lava for this since it has quite the workload to work through. Yeah. Let me just take the coal from here. And there we go. I'm guessing this is filled up by now. Okay, still not. So it can continue to do its work. It probably help yeah, you know, it would probably help if I just connected these against each other. But then I'd have to rebuild everything again. Put yeah. this on the ground. So actually, it would be easier to move this underneath there. Yeah, hmm. the, like I said, definitely do that when we do rebuild many of these things underground. Yeah, if we even move these underground. Let's... Yeah, let's cover up this front part since that's where it is co it's constantly stopping. Stick? What the? What happened with the stick there? Empty hand needed. So otherwise, it won't work. Okay. What? Apparently, sticks are placeable with one of the mods. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. I guess you could make some basic fences with this. Well, I think you're supposed to do one of those Japanese paper walls. Uh, there's probably just yeah you know, something for that you can just build up already without needing uh, to do all of this. True. Okay. Well, we can leave this be for the moment. Since, well, we need quartz to get 
to make the deployers. Which I guess means that we need to get a bucket. And get some water and find lava. Yep. Didn't I put a bucket in here? Well. And yeah, I don't think it's good to move this underground later. Says it would be easy to make it look nice with the use of uh, cave walls and all that. There's a bucket at the very least. Here we go. Uh, copper needs to go somewhere. Okay. Let me just grab some water from here, since that's infinitely refilling itself when we pick it up anyways. Okay. Hmm. We could go looking for where that wa lava was leaking into the mine shaft or the quarry shaft. But that would just, uh, if we just pour water in there, it would just only turn into cobblestone, which would get broken the moment the excavator passed by again. Hmm. So we'll just have to keep on going down until we find lava. I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> Going around and round and round and round and round and round and round and uh, Okay, I know there's at least... It's, I know this cave dead ends on both sides. But we can Actually, this continues on. I believe. And it goes up that way as well. Diamond? Hmm? You were passed by a diamond. Nope. Oh. I'm pretty sure you thought that it was diamond before as well in the old world. Yeah, I would not be surprised when it looks like diamond at first glance. Let's see, is this light from stuff I've put down? So turning that on to ensure that I'm not leaving any open spots. Okay, yeah, we've been here before. Or I've been here before. What is that? Okay. Yeah, what is that? Is that a mob or something? A light? Hello. A very hyperactive skeleton. Okay, where was that coming from? Nope. Not there. Over there. I think it was up here. Yeah. Is it still here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh, we found a water pocket. I wonder, could we use the, the water that runs down like that? as a power source for the water wheels? Uh, yeah, but it's a lot easier to just uh, put down our own uh, water sources with the water wheels. Hmm, true. Let's see. And yeah, for, some, for it to power a water wheel, it needs to be in motion. So still water like that wouldn't work either ways. Well, I was thinking of the, the water that got pouring out. Let's see. I'll need to try not to get lost here because I don't know the exact ways to get out again. Okay, I remember seeing this here, I think. Which means that the way back is that way. Also because there's a lack of <laughs> torches in this direction. Hmm. Now, now this music starts to kick up. Or decides to. Let's see then. 
Uh, where did we enter this again? Were we right near this thing? Nope. We were definitely not coming from that way. Um, it, it, it's after you. It's after you. That's the that's a cockroach. Oh. I think it was here. Have we seriously already gotten lost? Okay, I know where we are now. Okay, that was a growl. Oh yeah, here we are back at the spiral. So here we go again. So we're going to slay the spiral, all right? Oof. But yes, I, I don't know. Why. I don't know why I'm getting so tired out. I, I should have had at, you know, at least seven or eight hours of sleep. I think it, it's, it's always hard to tell when you are actually falling asleep. Since well, getting up to check will act will most likely just keep you more awake. Yeah. Okay, here was the other dead end. So either we start digging down again until the next cave we puncture, uh, or we use the mini map to look for <laughs> look for lava, like over there. So we can put that in there. Looks like yeah, there's both we... lava and water there, so there might already be obsidian. Ooh, let's hope so. Okay, only question is what height is it is it there? So, cave layers, and this is on... Let's see, minus five. Yeah, you need to just turn around. Mm, no, it was giving the wrong height. But minus 16. Okay, yeah, we must have hit a, a high, we must have hovered out for a high point there. There we go. And let's try not to dig out over the lava. Yeah. For obvious reasons. There. Uh, okay, that that's annoying. I was I thought it would be a little lake, but no. It's just two streams meeting together. Hmm. There is all of that. But that would be quite a ways di to dig. Holy. Uh, could try for this. Did I that just... Hmm. Yeah. That's just green themselves. Oh dear. Let's see, that is Y21. And this is about as close as we get. Okay. So now that we have do we have to dig that way, we also have to dig down towards it. Carefully. Iron ore, always useful. Uh, but 
but yeah, I guess next time we stream this, we can finish up set. Uh, actually, I wonder how much I should do off stream. Yeah, I could just build, build the other two, ha the, the other farms. Uh, and then next time we can get started with mine colonies, I guess. But yeah, yeah. No, we should probably invest invest to make the parts of the tower. So we have a, you know, proper storage and all. And perhaps a bit of a, you know, a roof over your head. Okay. I know I, I'm going to try a little trick with that, by the way. Uh, oh. you, you saw how we you how we could use the mechanical piston to push stuff around or push the the uh, the dig the dig the, the digger around i'm good yes. if i if basically if i make a frame for the <clears throat> uh for the if i make a frame with linear chassis for the roof and glue all of the roof pieces to uh, to each other then uh yeah if needed we could move the roof up it just <laughs> With a piston. I don't know that's brilliant or incredibly stupid. Possibly both. But it, but it sounds practical, but also someone that it could backfire badly, like uh, your tree farm. <laughs> well, it, it wouldn't normally be mobile, and if we yeah we'd only be able to raise it upwards more as needed. Oh dear. <sighs> okay, we're getting close to the lava caves. If we are on the correct height. Let's see minus twenty, minus seventeen. That's the slope there. I'm guessing then. That we are under, so we might need to. We're going to need to dig up a bit again. Oop, find some more gold. Mm, yeah, it will take quite a bit to get all of everything set up, but once it is, it should be quite useful to us. Okay, get a bit of distance from the lava there. So I get the feeling this one is going to be a lot safer to get to. Hopefully. And hopefully that isn't just a big stream of lava like the previous. There we go. Then there we go. It's a lot of Okay, put down. Actually, if we do that, it's just going to get broken. There we go. And yeah, then we just start digging. Uh, let's see, we need four. No. Uh, let's see. Three on each side. Yeah, we need ten total. If we don't do it with the corners. Okay. Um, math? Hmm? You yeah, said three. Three, three, it's three, three multiplied um, four is yeah, On both 12. sides. Not all <laughs> sides. We just okay, need... Okay, okay. It... The portal needs to be two by three, so on the sides we can do three, and at the top and bottom we can do two. All right, but I mean, I think you can see why I misunderstood you for a moment there. Okay. <coughs> Don't get sick now. Okay, just four more. <clears throat> It's more that my throat is dry at the moment. Ah. 
Yeah, that makes sense. I've that's already a... emptied out my water bottle. Oh. Oh, that's bad. Also, I bet you can make... We use create to make trains go through the nether. Yep. No, I don't really know what this most... Well, it... I can... Actually, now that I think about it, it... Uh, it would probably be uh, faster than just having trains run through the overworld between places. But then it still brings up the question why you need to... What you'd need to move so many resources for. What? Hmm. What if it... it... Okay, an example. You, you have a quarry in the nether for basalt and blackstone. Uh, could be. You would need to use uh, windmills or motors for that. Yeah, but you would be able to use the train to transport it back to the overworld. Uh, that's the wrong way. No. Hmm. If, so far, is what I've seen, many people seem to you. At least the YouTube's I've seen so far have been wanting to use it to gather lava. Okay. Like they have a, they make a lava drain station, then the train goes there, grab the lava, and returns to the overworld. Okay, that actually reminds me of something. Another creative part uh, that will be very useful to us for. Uh, <clears throat> uh, for Tinker's Construct. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, let's see. It's one of the liquid ones. Uh, not that. That's a fluid tank. Item drain. Hose pulley. It's not the one. No, that's, that is that is what they would use to drain lakes in the nether. It's not the one we're looking for, or I'm looking for at least. The one I'm looking for is... Where is it? I'm trying... No, not that. Hmm. Let's see. Item drain, no spout. This is the one. Yeah, that'll, deposit, that'll uh, distribute fluids. <clears throat> And if it's put over Tinker's basins and such, it'll only fill up, uh, it'll only activate if it can completely fill up what's underneath it. Okay. What the? Oh. Okay. You plan to make a potion factory? Yeah, that could also be done. But if I... If I put these over the casting basins and such, then uh, we wouldn't need to worry about half-filled basins and so, uh, that we'd have to either break or have to build other basins next to. Oh dear. There we go. And yeah, this. Clearly some that this can't actually reach. And it's actually the ones that are directly next to it, it seems. I mean, you... Yeah, area you should not plant trees on. Which is going to be annoying since if we put deployers on top of it, they will put down saplings there. So I guess we're going to have to limit. Okay, it doesn't it it doesn't count the contraption as a physical object as it's turning. Yeah, I, we'll we'll just need one deployer, and put it on the out uh, on the second layer. Yeah, that would be likely the smartest. Okay, for now. We have our obsidian. Ooh, it, even I am getting tired. I blame let's, you. Let's put it down here. One, two. One, 
two. And I'm sure there's some flints around here somewhere. Yep. I immediately it find the correct button. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, I, I can always uh, eat a California Reaper and breathe at it. There we go. Uh, now, before we go through that, I'm first going to drop these two off here. And. Okay. No, let's hope there's no... Actually, before we do that... There. This way we can encase ourselves in case it's an open area or a vulnerable place. Okay. Not bad. Um, and next to lava. <laughs> okay, first off, just to ensure that we'll be relatively safe and not taking any immediate fire. Because the yeah, house happens. Be yeah, that has happened before. Oop. Infested soul sand? Oh. Okay. Nether mites, it seems. Or nether silverfish. Oh dear. Uh, right, that was a. It's probably be good to have a little. For what? Me when. Everything made these. Because of this. <laughs> That went Wait, what? well. Wait, what? I was just clicking like mad to try and uh, well hit it, half thinking I still had my freaking sword. Instead, I just sent that back to it. Uh, you just hit it with another block. Now I I hit its fireball back with a <laughs> with a block. I didn't know it was possible. Before that despawns. There we go. Mushrooms. That okay, that isn't something useful. These are. Stay away from the piglin. No, that's more infested, so that will just turn into these little jackasses. I probably should have grabbed at least an iron sword, but I will. Hmm. Oh dear. Oh, we have a lot of these trees. Yeah. Where did the first one go if these ones are chasing after us? Maybe you can trick them into running into the fire? I don't think that will hurt them since they are leaving a fire trail themselves. Oh. Here we go. They dropped gunplow. Yeah, plowder. Powder. Uh, wait, wait, goblin! Goblin! Goblin trader will run past you. It's a zombified piglin. Uh, oh. Okay. Is there maybe, any maybe soil this... this piglin? Uh, right. Maybe this mod uh, doesn't have those uh, goblin merchants. It's platinum quartz. Okay, that is what we need. We do know that it's nearby. 
and oop, Firefox. Wait, really? I'm pretty sure. Let's, let's finish blocking most of it off. And then let's go grab our gear. Yeah, wait, aren't we going over time? Uh, yeah. Well, I guess we can leave it there then with our nether portal up. Yeah, do, uh, we do have over time to do due to the bathroom, but still, we were tired. Yeah, getting a bit too tired, yeah. Yeah, probably also the worst time to go to the nether. Okay. Let's have a look then for anyone to raid. Uh, let's see. Halloween 44 is streaming Faith. Touch Scaly Tail is still busy with Minecraft. Uh, no. uh, WBPL76 uh, is playing Trombone Champ, which I'm not sure if that game is supposed to be somewhat serious or is just a complete joke. <clears throat> okay. Then we have Schmoop's Other Nonsense, who is streaming Space Station 13. Uh, Brandon the Chihuahua, who is streaming Stardew. Actually, for, to make this easier, I can just swap the screen to you as well. There. Yeah, that would be a bit easier to be helpful. And Azra Arcane is streaming Little Nightmares. Ooh. Okay. I, I, kind of, I kind of tend to say Little Nightmare sounds, uh, you know, spooky month. Yeah. Okay. Let's head on over, copy the name. Oh, she's changed up her model quite a bit for the Halloween, for Halloween it seems. And she okay. has a hat, unlike you. <laughs> yeah, yeah let's see if I can figure out some things with Blender. For now, uh, yeah, a bit shorter than originally planned or wanted, but yeah, just really starting to get tired. <clears throat> yeah, same. Uh, <laughs> shut off Minecraft in the background, and uh, yeah, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you Sentai Tadpole for sticking around for a bit, uh, always appreciate it. And thank you as always as well, Nurkir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, tomorrow we'll finally have another Showcase Sunday. And let's see, da, 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 one, two, three, four. Yep. Um, if we get a bit lucky, we might end up with another console game as one of the backups. But yeah, that's a maybe. For now, though, and thank you anyone else who has been watching now or later. And yeah, until next time, have a nice day. And until then. You see people, and watch out for uh, uh, bad crocodiles. Or maybe nether mites. Actually, that's a... You know what? Yeah, watch out for nether mites. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, stream deck.